So um, one thing you mentioned before is that you were a high school teacher. Right. Do you think that students today are exposed to enough mystery writing or mystery books, or do you think they need enough of it? Well, you know, that's an interesting question. And as I think back, 33 years of teaching, I can probably count the number of mystery books that uh, have been in the curriculum, and most of them have been classics, Agatha Christie types, of book, which right, are fine, right. but teaching it as a genre and teaching it as a, as a type of writing really hasn't been done. And interestingly enough, also uh, recently in Mystery Writers of America, we were talking about trying to bring in younger writers, and one of my suggestions was to go to some of the creative writing departments in many of the universities and somebody brought up to me that if we do that that's fine but they're not teaching a lot of genre writing in creative writing which I, I don't know that that's true or not but right. I imagine it, it is true and so it's a shame because it is a a very uh, intricate type of writing and though it's very very much like storytelling in general, there are some um, idiosyncrasies to it that are, that are different. Right. And you are now working on a second book. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, my next project is called Deja Vu Italian Style. Mm. And it's the second in the series of uh, books that started with In Search of Sal. The person, the protagonist, the main character, is a guy named Tony Morelli. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I was telling you earlier, I think he's uh, kind of a Lou Macaluso wannabe because he came <laughs> off of the, the, the original one that I was writing. He's, uh, he's a writer also, uh, but he's younger and better looking, I think, <laughs> and taller. And, uh, and at any rate, but, but uh, there was a large um, outpouring of demand for another book and so I did uh, and also it is based on a true story also. Oh really? Yes. And when are you going to be able to read that June book? June 1st. June 1st and right now I'm doing a kind of a we call it a buzz campaign okay. and to, to get it going and uh, if you go to my website lumacaluso.com uh, or you can email me, um, lumacaluso at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. I have a Jeopardy type category game about the, the settings, the different settings, asking questions about it. And it's a lot of fun, even if you okay. don't. And if you do participate and you get the five right, I put you in the acknowledgments. And this is for the new book coming out. That's for up. the new book coming out. So okay. I'm excited about it. It's, yeah, it uh, sounds it, it's, very interesting. It goes all over uh, Italy and um, comes back to the Chicago area, the Oak Park area. But um, it, it's an exciting novel, I think. How long did it take you to write that one? Oh, well, uh, it should have taken me less than a year. It took me two. Wow. <laughs> uh, because I did a lot of research in terms of going to Italy and so forth and changed a lot of things along the way also. Lou, thank you so much for being here with us today.